Now, you have two bones that make up your forearm. Going from lateral to medial, you have the radius. And a good way to remember the radius is you got a rounded end. And every circle has a radius. Medially, you have the ulna. Good way to remember this one is the little hook-like portion right here. It looks like the business end of a monkey wrench. Because it looks like a letter U, should help you remember that is the ulna. Now, in positioning these bones, going from lateral to medial, the bones are in alphabetical order, so R before U. Should be an easy way to help you remember those. Now, the radius attaches to the humerus at this rounded portion we saw earlier called the capitulum. It fits right in here, and because of its round surface here, it slides back and forth. It pivots. This is going to enable you to take your hand from a palm up position, like this, palm down. Okay? Now, attaching, and notice a big bump right here. This is the radial tuberosity. This is the point where the bicep muscle attaches to the radius and is responsible for flexing your arm. Now the other end of the radius, you have a little point out here. This is the styloid process. This is, one of the, this is the bump you feel on your outside of your hand. If you, if you sit there, palm up, reaching out, the styloid process is going to be right here. You can feel this bump here. Now the ulna also attaches to the radius at this little point here, the U-shape called the trochlear notch. Now, this end back here is the olecreon process. So it'll sit, fit right in here. The trochlear notch fits into the trochlea. So now your elbow bends this way. And like I showed you on the previous there, the olecreon fossa is a nice little spot here where the olecreon process fits into. Now also on the ulna, you'll have a t ulnar tuber tuberosity also on here. This is where another part of the bicep muscle attaches to still assist in flexing your arm up. And just like on the radius, you'll have a bump on the outside. This is a styloid process. They're both called styloid processes, whether they're on the ulna or on the radius. On your wrist, the big bump on the outside here, same size as your little finger, that bump right there is that styloid process.